Hello traders, uh, hello traders, uh, the title of the video is Sintash Stock, Helio Wave Analysis, Helio Wave Stock Analysis for Stock Markets uh, Traders. All right. So the financial instrument that we are analyzing is Sintash Corporated, APC C T. AS. This is an American stock belonging to the industrial sector business services. I'm on the yearly chart, all right? as I told you before, it's quite easy to count waves on the yearly chart. All right? And I should trade a few tips and tricks that you can use on the yearly chart, especially if we are in a third year wave and we see the shadow on top of the third in your way then we know that the fourth wave is probably underway so this candlestick bar here is a yearly candlestick bar is not yet closed it will be closed at the end of december all right 2018 all right so what do i want to talk about talking about synta stock all right it's definitely in the third wave of a higher degree on the yearly chart all right so if we go to the monthly chart there is a high chance that that uh, impulse wave which is the third wave will be subdivided into five specific manual wave but the reason why i'm recording this video today is because uh, we did okay analyze this talk before but we want to see how the price okay has changed the dynamics of our wave count all right so you will count wave at one point in time and this the price will continue to rise and you want to look back what has happened is there an earlier wave extension is there a distortion have i made a mistake or not this is why i'm recording this video but before i switch to the monthly chart there is something i want you to understand is that which i mentioned before talking about our, the, our earlier wave count guidelines we said to traders, to earlier with traders, that very often at the end of the first wave, we usually see all right, a force a divergence. So if you are in an uptrend, if the first wave is quite strong, especially on a higher degree, you are likely to see a force, a very divergence in an uptrend, and you are likely to see a force okay bullish divergence in a downtrend when the the, the 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 first wave is completed and the second wave is underway this is something you need to understand especially for traders that are using the stochastic like myself the stochastic 833 you can see here this is the first wave of a higher degree and this is a, a specific okay a pattern or right, that you need to understand that it often will help you also to improve your wake up. You can see here that the stochastic A33 was going down okay during the first wave of a higher degree as the prior was going down. Now if you are following our earlier wave guidelines you will not fall into this trap and start, and start selling like a mad dog. Now you can understand that the trader did sell it all right it doesn't mean that the price will not go down but oh, the question is, why, in the name of God, or if you allow me to say that, all right, one should attempt to sell, all right, when the third wave is about to begin. So here we are, a strong bullish move is about to begin, and you are busy selling. My advice, my recommendation to traders is that stay away for those of forced divergence or those are temporary divergence. So you can see this is what we call a temporary okay, bearish divergence. It's just something going on. The bullish momentum was very strong. All right? If you put a volume bar on your chart, you see that the price will be decreasing under a low trading volume. No demand to sell. That's how you will quickly detect the, 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 the temporary all right, bearish divergence. All right? Here it is. Here it is. Okay, so for many months, this is true. Almost more than a year, you see that? More than a year, 2000, to see here. I'm on a year, yes, 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 you see, to 2005, where I was going down like this. But you know better, or if you are selling here, if you decided to sell, all right, all this year, okay, 
you will be very, very careful. You will be very, very careful. Another thing that uh, smart investor may do, they may just okay apply for instance uh, Fibonacci retracement to the first wave. All right. So what you will do, you will check the fundamental. If you are a more professional trader, you will check the fundamental relating to syntax why this stock has been going now. All right, like this, or you want to see what's going on in the management before Google has it test check the market share what's going on and then you say oh, all right there is a future the future is looking brighter for this stock so why you can you apply Fibonacci retracement like this you see people selling you say all right I don't want to sell all right I'll stay out I don't want to be bearish for investor so you say all right you see price is now pulling back isn't it yeah 38 point two percent fifty percent you may just place order okay, at a 50% to buy and hold for long term. This is about buy and hold. This is not a technical analysis because you are hedge fund uh, manager or you are institutional investor, all right, or you are buying for a pension fund. You see, you know, all right, it's the second wave. The third wave, looking at the fundamental, has a high chance to be strong. You apply Fibonacci ST, retracement to the first wing, and you will ask to buy, all right? Your broker, ask your broker to buy this stock in a zone of $28, for instance. Down in between the $28 and the $22. This is the sweet spot zone. So you may just ask, if this stock happened to reach this level, I want to buy 1 million share. I want to buy 2 million share. I want to buy 10 share. I want to buy 60 share. This is not technical analysis. You are buying a hole for many years. Right. So you will do that uh, probably in 2009 and you will let it run. And a minimum target will be this high here of $50. If it goes above it, well, game on. You will use. Uh, all right, the measuring stick of the height of the first wave, and you will project it either here, that will be a very conservative target, price target at $76, or you will project it above the high of the first wave, a target of $107. Each time you set a target, you will all remember always the midpoint target. So that could be a strategy, a smart trader who does not want to waste real money, who want to take a more conservative approach, buy and hold, okay, real share in a portfolio will do after detecting this, uh, all right, false or temporary, all right, bearish diversion that we usually see during the second wave. You have to understand that the second wave can come back all the way to the starting point of the first wave if, for instance, the fundamentals are not solid for this uh, all right, stock. So it's very, very important if you are doing something like that or you are a professional trader, you want to check the fundamental, you want to check the management, you want to check the market share, what is going on, whether the future is looking brighter for uh, this stock. You will definitely pay attention to the market environment, where is the S&P 500, all right, and so on, and so on. All right? Now, this is a distinctive, okay, stochastic, okay, indication telling us that, okay, this is the second wave. Be aware that the third wave will be underway. And during the third wave, because we are on the yellow chart, that's why you did not see that. Is, during the third wave, you will see that the stochastic A33 will stay overbought for a long time. See here. So it reaches the overbought zone in 2012. It's still in overbought zone. Today we are 2018. That's what we usually see. It's another distinction. If I go down a little bit more, because you need to understand those things. You see? <laughs> you see? So because it's still overboard during the third way. Don't sell, my friend. You can buy if the price breaks resistance ahead. Break a bow, retest. It means that the bullish momentum is increasing. We acknowledge the resistance that the stock is pointing to us. But we know better that we are not trading the stochastic, we are using the stochastic, but we are trading the price itself, the number one indicator. This, this is another distinctive indication that the stochastic 8 at 3, 3 okay, not 14 3, 3, 8 at 3, 3, all right, will give you also more.
So now going back to the area wave analysis, I show you on the yearly chart that we are in the third wave of a higher degree. Uh, I'll quickly go back there. So those are the things you want to pay attention to. Uh, so we will see second wave of a higher degree because we are on the yearly chart. Because this candlestick bar is not yet closed. So if I'm saying now that this is the third wave, we'll put a question mark. It's truly, truly a third wave. But when this candlestick bar is closed in December, we'll have to pay attention to what is happening here, whether the fourth wave is already underway. I also told you that because this is an impulse wave, the impulse wave are the first, third, and the fifth wave. Each impulse wave, when we go back to the lower degree, we are likely to see the internal wave or those impulse waves. And any impulse wave can be subdivided into five manual waves, and very often, it's quite uh, very often, you can identify the internal wave of the third wave. So you can see that I have on my chart here, you can see uh, my third wave. I was counting with here before we, uh, I talk about this uh, uh, inverter head and shoulder chart pattern here, and I start counting this one as the first manual wave of the third wave second manual wave of the third wave and from here all the way up here this is the third manual wave of the third wave and we were here that time i was saying to you the fourth wave all right this is the fourth wave fourth manual wave of the third wave and i was telling you that this is uh, the fifth manual wave of the third wave all right and we were saying to traders all right that we will have the fourth wave you see if i was in this thing followed by the fifth wave all right, the fifth wave of a higher degree. But if you look carefully, this is what I'm talking about. You count your wave, all right, now the prior prints something else, or we see more, the prior reveal its hands to us, so to speak. We know more now, or we can see our eyes are now open. We were blind before, now we can see there is an extension of that third wave. So when we were here, you remember, we were saying, we were thinking that that third wave has ended here. Are you with me? Those exercises, you will do them from time to time as an alien with trader. That's why I do not like to remove my line. You can see the target that I said, the prior one a little bit above. So when we were here, we were thinking that this is the end of that third wave. But look, the prior breaks above that uh, end of supposed to be the end of the third wave and uh, retest here and now continue to go up. Now, it's now clear to us that what we were calling the end of the third wave is not the end of the third wave, because this is what we see to trade it. Anytime we count one, two, three, four, five, it becomes one. Or anytime we are in a fifth wave, that fifth wave can be extended. And this is what's happening here. So, going back to my wave count, we say first manual wave of the third wave, second manual wave of the third wave, third manual wave of the third wave, and the fourth manual wave of the third wave. So what is happening here now is that uh, the fifth manual wave of the third wave is now extended. So your wave count today is not completely definitive. That's why we are saying one step at a time. And I also use the word at this point in time, all right, you see? So this is the reason why we have careful when we are talking to traders and we say, all right, at this point in time, all right, with the information that we have today, do I have enough data? Because if you do not have enough data, you score something else, something else. So this is now our fifth wave, fifth mono wave of that third wave. Again, you see, today again, I can say that with the information that I have today, <laughs> on the 28th of August 2018, this is what I will say. If tomorrow, again, a few months later, we come back and we see more extension because this fifth mono wave of the fifth mono wave of the turtle itself can be extended again, you see. So the extension can uh, change, okay, uh, our wave can, can change the price structure. So therefore, can change, all right, your original in your way count. So now it's clear to us, first mono wave, do you agree? Feel free to disagree. A second mono wave, all right, third mono wave or the third wave, 
fourth mono wave of the third wave, and this is the fifth mono wave of the third wave, which is now extended. Will come back at the end of uh, uh, December 2000, uh, all right, December 2018, to find out what is happening here. All right, so we can take it from there and uh, forecast. All right, the fourth wave. Usually the fourth wave will be shallow. I don't want to draw it now because this candlestick bar on the yearly chart, which the one I was studying showing you on the yearly chart, is not yet closed. So this is how we will okay uh, improve our account and forecast the market uh, carefully. So to avoid earlier wave analysis mistake, as I told traders, which I have seen all the time, is that you count your wave, all right? You are satisfied with your wave, you do your preliminary wave count, and you do your earlier wave validation by comparing on different time frame, the lower degree and the higher degree, all right? Like, suppose you were here, all right? So, as I was telling you here, you were thinking, all right, this is the, as we were here, you were saying that, all right, this is the fifth wave of the third wave. And then we were calling this session here, probably the real fourth wave. That time, we were expecting the real fourth wave, Followed by the real fifth wave, talking about a higher degree wave count. But the third wave did not end here. But if to avoid any of your trading mistake, though you were expecting a move down at this for me, the real fourth wave of a higher degree, followed by the fifth wave of a higher degree, that's your wave forecast, okay? But in order to avoid any of your count mistakes, you do not want to assume anything. You just flow with the price. Okay, will you agree with me? Flow with the price. So you draw a line like this. That's what we are saying. The market pattern is more important than what? The earlier wave count. So a lot of new traders, when we speak like this, they say, Joel, you don't know anything about earlier wave. You can't tell us when we should buy and sell. That's why you are speaking like this. But it's a prudent approach. Oh. <laughs> Now, unless those traders never lost before, if they lost their own money before, unless they are trading with somebody's money, they will become a little bit more prudent. All right? So, this is it. All right? So, you will draw a line. So, you connect in one point and this point here. You draw a line and then you choose one point here to draw another line that is parallel. That's it. So, you were saying that your fifth way has ended here. Look for the price. Did. The price pull back to retest the top of that channel. And then it's breaking above a resistance level. So, after this, you see here, it breaks above. This is what you're doing all the time. breaks above and retest. It breaks above what we were calling the end of uh, the fifth manor wave or the third wave and finally support. Look at that. Indecision and the bullish cannot see back. You will buy. You will buy. You just flow with it. You will just flow with it now because it's going now. You will not force it, try to sell it. All right, you know, you just flow with it. This is it. This is what we are talking about all the time. All right. We can continue to project uh, this channel. Okay, the first channel that we draw, we can keep continuing to project it. That can help us. So I'm choosing this point here. Drawing a line that is parallel. Is it parallel? Normally it should be the same width, but I just choose this point here. I can choose another point here, all right? Or this one, the high of uh, this doji here, I can choose that. Or if you want to be more accurate, we can just measure the width of this uh, first channel here, all right? and then project it in the direction of the prime, and then draw a line that is parallel, that's it. And we can continue to do that. That will help us to pinpoint where we should position ourselves to participate in the trade. It's what we call market geometry. This is exactly what the professional traders were doing here. What right, you see here, he breaks the ball, retest. He peers through it, try to retest the, this one here. All right, After people place order here to buy. Was coming down, coming down, all this field, he closed back a boy, shoo, 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 stop a bit, and now it's running up. And we can continue to do that, just flowing with the pride, combining our earlier wave analysis 
with uh, the market geometry. Uh, for trainer that are new to us, if you do not know what is a market geometry, you to search market geometry by day pro traders, or right, day pro traders YouTube channel, and you will hear me again speaking in my funny accent. All right. <laughs> All right, so this is, this is it, you see. So you put it now. Where are we? This is where we are now. You get it now? All right, so it's a, it's a resistance ahead, a little bit there. All right, it can pierce. So if it goes above it, well, game on. We just keep doing that, exactly what we were doing before. Keep drawing channel, you see now. And then again, when the third wave is completed, you want to know where the fourth wave is likely to end. So fourth wave very often because if the third wave is very very strong it means that uh, the market is saturated by the bulls all right so we are likely to see a shallow retracement uh, am i doing it correctly uh, okay you are likely to see a shallow retracement so what i'm doing now i'm applying fibonacci retracement to the third wave so suppose i'm choosing my word carefully suppose the third wave is ending here all right any price start forming the fourth wave coming down i'm not saying that this is the end of it yet because it's not finished yet all right but suppose this is the end of the third wave you want to know where is the fourth wave you see again the line will help you so if you if you if there was a very candlestick bar a candlestick pattern here or you receive a very trading signal and you sell using a top notary metal, your first target will be the edge of this uh, channel here. If you break below it, retest this one, you sell again, come down to this one. Until it starts changing direction again and going back up to form the fifth wave. So you'll be expecting something like this. A fourth wave, shallow, will be at something like 38.2% of uh, the real third wave, followed by, okay, the fifth wave. Again, this is just a forecast. Price can continue to go up or more before coming down to form the fourth wave and so on. At the end of the day, my friend, it's very, very important, and I say it in every video, is that we are trading first the S&P 500, the market, before trading Sintas Corporated, Epic CTAH, Charlie Tango Alpha, a share. So what I've decided to do this year is very simple and uh, I need a bit of your cooperation because uh, I want to speak more to uh, professional traders, to hedge funds, to people who are in the market active looking for tips and tricks that they can use in real time. This is not uh, a financial advice, this is a free tutorial but also giving traders to give to those who want to know, a, to have a bit of idea what is happening in the market. So in order to help us, it's very simple, all right? You watch one of our videos, all right? And you make excellent decision, all right? And you make a lot of money, all right? And you say, oh, Joe, that's very good. Go to our website, click on the donate button, all right? And support what we are doing. So I may continue to do what we are doing here because what I want to do this year, I will be analyzing the American stocks, all right? Nags 100, Dow Jones stock, all right? So that's why I'm using... Uh, a model so I would say for instance like you see the title of this video will be Sinta stock all right colon alien wave analysis okay blah 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 so another day I may come back and analyze maybe Facebook stock all right alien wave analysis so I want to speak to real professional traders and also for educational purposes but what I want in return if, for instance, you find one of our video very useful or any of our video has helped you to make a lot of money, please go and draw something at twoforelliotwaves.com because I'm providing this information for free. I want you also to support our website, okay? So you go there, you click on the donate button. So today, say, George, you are asking for so much money because money is involved in everything. So now. This is not to force people, but I'm just saying it. it does not apply to everybody because some people cannot afford it, but some people can afford it. And I know what's going on behind the scene. That's why I'm speaking like this, all right? All right, so is it, is, is it clear to you now? So you see now? So you will come your way one day. You will say, that oh, this is the fifth way. The prime may be extended. You will come back again and review what is happening. 
you will start from, all right? If you want to see very fast what is taking place, well, the quickest way is to go to the yearly chart. That's why I like TC2000. By the way, I have fixed my problem with my TC2000. As you can see, I'm drawing line better now. So, all right, so I managed to, to fix it now, <laughs> okay? So now, you see, so the quickest way to see what is happening is to go to the yearly chart. And also, sometimes you may count wave, for instance, on the monthly chart, and you go to the yearly chart, you quickly discover that your wave count on the monthly chart was incorrect, or there were things that were not very clear, and you quickly rectify them. Sometimes you start from the yearly chart first, sometimes you start from the monthly chart first, and so on. So we are using different time frames to improve and to validate our wave count, all right? I also use the stochastic, I was, I was telling you now, those are the things I look for. And sometimes it's quite easy to quickly detect that sometimes I may look on the stochastic and I'll quickly know that, all right, this is an impulse way, because if you have an impulse way, the stochastic very often will stay overboard for a long time. Now, it will stay overboard for a long time, very often, during the third wave. Even on the hourly time frame, you will see that. On any time frame, you will quickly notice that. You see here, it's still overboard during the first wave. It's a strong bullish move. It's still overboard during the third wave. So, in fact, a better way to use the stochastic will be to look for an opportunity to buy when the stochastic is overboard and to look for an opportunity to sell when the stochastic is oversold. That would be something crazy or difficult for other traders to understand because they are misusing the stochastic or they don't know how to use it. For those traders, I encourage them to go to www.stochastic-madi.com where I have many pages, web pages about stochastic and also stochastic pattern that will help them to understand what is happening in this messy market. So I think I've said enough about the Sintas stock. All right, Sintas stock in your wave analysis, in your wave stock analysis. Or for stock market traders. So if you have any question or suggestion, feel free to put in the comment section. Nothing personal though, my friend. <laughs> Don't write anything personal. Something relating to the video. And in due course, I will be okay, answering your comment. If you find this video truly, truly useful, please let us know by giving sticking your beautiful thumbs up. You think this is another ridiculous blah blah blah? Mark it down, all right. Don't get too personal. You don't like it, mark it down, but don't be personal, okay. If you think this is an essential tutorial, feel free to share with your friend on Google Plus, on Twitter, and also on Facebook. So, this will conclude our discussion today about the Sinta stock in your way of stock analysis for stock market traders. Until the next time, enjoy yourself. And be very happy. We are the TSTW24 traders talking about Sinta stock, media wave stock analysis for stock market traders. Happy trading to you all, and I will speak to you soon. If you like what I said about uh, analyzing stock, American stock, uh, NASDAQ 100 stock, uh, SP 500 stock, uh, Dow 30 stocks, all right. As I said it, if you, you think it's a good idea, let me know in the comment section because I want to know your view about what I'm trying to do this year. I will be analyzing those stocks one by one or I put them out there for traders who want to support what we are doing. All right? So I want to try that. If it doesn't work, all right, we'll do something else. But it doesn't mean that that's the only thing we're going to do this year. We will be doing other things also, but that will be the main focus. But I want to hear from you. What do you think of what we are doing, or whether it makes sense or not, all right? Uh, just let us know, please, all right? Thank you for watching, and I will speak to you soon.